box will go off in about 10 seconds. Okay. All right, and Joe, there your name, please. Thomas Carlson. Carlson, you have two different felony files here. 230881FY, 230847FY. I'm going to read them to you. Ms. Strauss, on behalf of Mr. Carlson, for the purpose of arraignment, we have reviewed the charging document and waive a formal reading. We did conduct a screen for indigency and found he is indigent, so he will be receiving a court appointed attorney. Request this matter be set for probable cause and preliminary exam. One and eight, four. All right, sir. So you have two different cases here. It looks like the public defender is going to be representing you on both of these. You wish to argue bond? Yes, Your Honor. He is currently working as an injection molder operator for a plastics company. He does not live with the alleged victim in this case. Him and I went over extensively what a PPO means and how to abide by that. They don't have any children in common, and he is starting to work with for Forest View for his mental health problems that he has acknowledged he has a need to get under control. So we ask that be taken into consideration. Thank you. And sir, you're already out on probation on a different felony case besides these two, right? Um, up in Bay City, I don't think it's a, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on probation. No, sir. I'm and, talking uh, about your uh, meth case from February 26th of this year. I'm showing you oh, okay. out on yeah. bond on that case. Forgot yeah. about that yeah. other felony case. No, I'm just, it's, it's all skin. So you committed me. both of these new felony cases while you were already out on bond for a felony case. I just want to get that straight, right? I, uh, I I was working with an officer or my wife was working with an officer to try to get me mental help. And instead the, the officer like went and and gave all the information to the prosecutors instead of getting, Sir, my, getting me. I'm just asking you before I decide what your bond should be on these two new felony cases. I just want to be sure that what I'm looking at is what you remember. You're already out on bond for a, 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 a different kind of felony, a methamphetamine case you're awaiting trial on. Yes. And you were out on that bond when these two cases happened, right? Yes. Okay. These are going to be protective conditions of bond, meaning... I'll lower the one, but they're both set now a $10,000 cash surety and they both have a protective condition of bond, meaning you cannot have any contact with Sheila. You cannot go where she lives or where she works. You cannot consume alcohol or any other controlled substances. You cannot uh, leave the state of Michigan without permission from the court. You cannot possess a firearm, or any other dangerous weapons. Do you understand all those rules? Yes. All right. Now you already have next court dates. Uh, you have a pre-exam date on April 20th and a preliminary hearing on April 26th. That is in courtroom B in front of Judge Belargin. You will get copies of these dates and times. You must show up for those dates and times. But if you're still incarcerated, corrections will make sure you're available. Do you understand that? Yes. You're all set, sir. Oh, okay. Your Honor, Garberlink is being uh, too belligerent to come down here, so we'll try it on uh, tomorrow. Okay. Gettys.
Good afternoon, ma'am, your name? Good afternoon, uh, Diane Geddes. Geddes, this is a felony file 231161FY. I'm going to read it to you. Ms. Ross, on behalf of Ms. Geddes, for the purpose of arraignment, we have reviewed the charging document and wait a formal reading. We did conduct a screen for indigency and found she is indigent, so she will be receiving a court appointed attorney. We request this matter be set for probable cause and preliminary exam. All right, so you will have the public defender. They're going to be your attorney for the remainder of this case. Do you wish to argue for bond? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Geddes is currently on parole, so she is being supervised. She's been working with On Point. She is disabled, receives money from that, and has around $200 she could post towards bond. Thank you. All right, and that's right where bond is set here. This is a $2,000 cash or surety. So we'll leave it at that. It's no drug, there's no alcohol, no drugs, no marijuana if you happen to be out on bond. You understand that? Yes, sir. You already have next court dates. You have a pre-exam on April 20th and a preliminary hearing on April 26th. That's in courtroom A in front of Judge Scotchless. You will get copies of those dates and times. You must show up for those dates and times. You are all set. Okay. All done. All done. Okay. Thank yep. you. Good afternoon. Your name? Zachary Newman. Mr. Newman, this is a misdemeanor file 230773ST. I'm going to read it to you. Pastor Oster, on behalf of Mr. Newman, for the purpose of arraignment, we have reviewed the charging document and waive a formal reading. He's entering a plea of not guilty. We did conduct a screen for indigency and found he is indigent, so he will be receiving a court appointed attorney. Request this matter be set for pre trial and trial. All right. So you already posted bond on this, it looks like, right? Um, yes, sir. Uh, they told me to go to court and um, the, the mother of the significant other that I was with um, paid bond on the side of the road for me not too long ago. Um, yeah. And then there were, I have, I'm also here on a DV1, my first mis domestic. Well, I'm um, just, I I, all I have here is the, is the DWLS that looks like you're scheduled yes, for arraignment on 5-3. But we're going to, we're arraigning you right now. It looks like you already have a $300 cash bond posted. So other than yes, don't sir. drive without a valid driver's license, you're not incarcerated on this case. Yes, sir. I'm incarcerated. I must be. Yes, sir. Do you have, is it possible? Like, I have two jobs. <laughs> like, I go to church regularly. I have two jobs. Like, I'm just I've saying, I don't even my... see a domestic violence, sir. All I see on here is one. This is your sheet. I mean, all your past stuff. You know, I know yes, that sir. in 2016, you had a, a suspended ops and you got this one. And you have another one you pled guilty to already, but I don't see anything about a DV. Okay, and yeah, that hasn't been charged yet, sir. So there's nothing we can do about it. But I will tell you this, if it's your first one, generally you would get yes, a PR sir. bond on that, which means as soon as it does get charged, you'll get sort of processed, but then you would get released because you're not in jail on this case. And if that other one is a DV first, a misdemeanor DV, you generally would get a PR bond on that one. So you're probably getting out of jail. You just haven't been charged yet officially with any dv that makes sense yes sir it does thank I, you if i had to guess i would say later on today you're going to get released all right yes sir all right you're all set then thank you tess see did you say you want we're going to try mr graveling through the 